Right now in our online store, shop.theladygang.com, we're offering 20% off with our code LADY. We're offering so many things this holiday season, perfect for gift giving, wearing to your holiday parties, or just for you. Whether it be a luxe velvet wrap dress that was based off our best-selling wrap dress from Express, or it is our sexy mature sweater dress that really looks incredible on all body types to our pen sets, journals, hats, signed books, and even the iconic swag it. Everything is 20% off right now. Use our promo code lady to shop now shop.theladygang.com and every time you shop we donate a menstrual cup with our partner salt to a woman in need so you can feel good and get something cute for you all right let's talk about entertaining are you having a bunch of family and friends over for the holidays are you going somewhere and are you responsible to bring something to the party that everybody can use i cannot tell you how much chinet is the greatest brand ever for this time of year i mean i use them year round for my barbecues in the summer but especially when i'm entertaining the family at home so what i love about this brand is it's really really durable the chinet classic has no bends or leaks microwave safe made with at least 80 percent recycled materials which we love made in the USA. The China Crystal is so great for your fancier events. They're elegant looking, but the guests aren't afraid to touch them because they are no shatter. They have a unique swirl design that's really beautiful. And the China Comfort, which I use regularly, most on my mornings with my coffee. So it keeps drinks hot and hands happy. Snap on lid, 12 ounces or 16 ounces or whatever size you're needing. Made in the USA, environmentally conscious, easy cleanup. They are perfect for life's gatherings. Made with 80% recycled materials, which we love. If you need to get some Chinette, bring it to your family's house or have it at yours. Visit mychinette.com to find out more. That's mychinette.com. Find out more. Close to our heart is the belief that ladies give back and show up for others. Right now, there are over 300 million women and girls that live in period poverty across the world. And without period care, they often stop going to school and miss out on economic opportunities. So we're showing up for them. We've partnered with Salt Sustainable Period Care, AB Corp, with a 2% give back mission to donate period care and help fund initiatives in menstrual health. So each time you buy with Lady Gang at shop.theladygang.com, you're helping give girls in need planet saving period care so when their periods start, their education doesn't have to stop. Plus, go to salt.com slash pages slash Lady Gang for your own period care and get 15% off with code Lady Gang. Do amazing with Total Wireless. Get an unlimited talk, text, and data plan for $25 per month. One gig at high speed, then 2G. Total Wireless. Do amazing. A month equals 30 days. Terms and conditions at TotalWireless.com. It's time for a quickie. Podcast One presents The Lady Gang, the Hollywood girl posse. With Lady Gang Quickie, here's Kelty Knight, Becca Tobin, and Jack Vanek. Let's make this quick. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Lady Gang Quickie. Quickie. It's time to be quick. It's Becca, Jack, and Kelty here. That hello. Was a, that was a weird intro. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, hello. But you know what? I think we almost, I want to say Jack harmonized. Oh, I didn't even know what I was I doing. I definitely didn't harmonize. No, I was hoping you might hit the next third up and then you didn't. I, we'll have to ask Jared when he edits it. <laughs> yeah, if you hit the it. perfect harmony. Yeah. Can he like... uh What's it called? Auto vocal tune? tune? Yeah. yeah. Vocal tune. Do they ever vocal tune on Broadway? No, because you're singing you're live. Not. You can vocal tune, tune live. live. Yeah. I mean, the, there's like auto tune is the word we're looking auto-tune. for. Oh, yeah. Um, first of all, I mean, I know it's sacrilegious yeah, or whatever you would say. Like, you I know. also think you'd be able to tell because there's not like, it's like a live. Yeah. You're I, not, there's not much <clears> behind <throat> you mm-hmm. where. But yeah, but bands and stuff do it but all the they, time. But they t- do. Dude, there's like tracks and music and uh, instruments. But there's no track. I mean, they do sometimes cheat things by having reverb. N- well, no, by oh. having someone in an offstage booth mm-hmm. harmonizing, singing. No singing. So my friend, <gasps> can't, can't you tell where it's coming? Wait, from? they had that on Fall Out Boy too. Did they? <laughs> I, when I was dating our mutual ex-boyfriend and I'd be backstage at the follow boy shows, someone else was in the wings playing bass for Pete because he like sucks at bass so bad. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Or, but then I thought, no, he doesn't suck at bass. Allegedly. It doesn't suck at bass. He's just jumping around around so much that it's like, he's a great stage man, but like you need someone to hit every single note for the song to sound good. So maybe it was like a mix of both. Anyway. So yeah, it's not that he can't play. It's that he can't play well doing what jumping, he's doing because he's quite a like a it's like bean. my friend who's a violin violinist violinist mm-hmm. for the of, trans-siberian orchestra and yeah. she's like running around and dancing Crazy. yeah and yeah. the reason that she's so good is because she's live oh. like she doesn't up and the violin is like the hardest instrument mm-hmm. yeah 
so there was somebody is on it Broadway. the hardest instrument i think it's one of the hardest you have to have an ear like you I have to have the violin were you good at it? No. Because mm. it's hard. Yeah, it's actually it's hard harder had... than like a stand-up bass or a trombone. Here's what's... Or a harp? A harp sound feels really hard. No, because listen, a harp it is... Just large. I can't explain this well enough, but I'm going to try. Okay. So I tried to learn... Vi- not tried to learn violin. She was... She lived with me. And so I was like, let me just learn Happy Birthday yeah. to play for a friend. Okay. So I didn't realize it's not like a guitar where it's like you strum this string. It's going to be C like this is a Mm -hmm. C. Yeah. 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 The violin. It's all based on where your fingers are on the neck of the violin. She's miming the neck. You have touching her ear. Touching. You have to have an ear. You have to know what it sound is. What it's sounding like. Like Um, you can't rely on if your fingers are like it's 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 so weird. Mm -hmm. And I might be I might be like butchering this explanation Mm -hmm. but i had no idea how hard it was so anyways Mm -hmm. she's amazing but on broadway there was a show Mm -hmm. that the lead has to sing a very high like a high c Mm -hmm. and the girl they had was amazing she was an amazing actress and she was a great singer but her range was not quite in that Mm -hmm. always in that world so they had my friend off stage who was in the ensemble sing alongside so they would turn down on that that one last note they would turn the girl the lead down her mic and turn up my friend whoa oh yeah there's mics i was like couldn't you tell they're wearing mics which part of the stage it was coming from oh my god jack (laughs) yeah no oh so that's pretty crazy right i think that's really wild anyway live your life we're here today for here the Lady are. Yang podcast. Sorry. Today we are doing the gift, gift guide. guide. So we have put a gift guide up on our website, and I'm happy to tell you um, that it's been wildly successful. You guys have asked for it for mm-hmm. years. Like, what do you, and we always do a gift guide every year for the holidays because you guys need help. And our whole Facebook group is like, what do I get my mother in law? What do I get the thing? And so Jack and Becca are both incredible gift givers. And I follow whatever they do. As I will say, when we do the gift guide and we talk about it, I have bought many things off our gift guide that you guys suggested for gifts in my family. I know it's super creepy. Anyway, so we're so excited to be here because gift giving is very difficult. And I just want to know what you guys, so I have the different categories and we're going to give you ideas for what you should buy this holiday season for the gift gifts. Okay. Uh, First, would you want me to tell you the things that I got for other people? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Jack on the gift guide put these slippers. Mm. The that, heated slippers. Heated slippers. You put them in the microwave. Yeah. I can't imagine they stay hot very long, but the idea of someone bringing me a nice cup of wine, a cup of wine, a glass <laughs> of wine, a chalice of wine, Snoop Dogg, and a, a heated slipper, like, seems so lovely. So I bought six pairs of those heated slippers, and everyone in my life is getting them. Mother-in-law, oh. sister-in-law. Like, I think it's a perfect gift. It's and a then a gift. gift card for something else. Yeah. Because it's like, nobody, right. adults don't want, they want to buy something for themselves. So I thought that was so good. Thanks. I also took your suggestion, Becca, mm-hmm. the Barefoot Dreams robe. Oh. All the men are getting the Barefoot Dreams oh. robe. And I've broken up what robe you got, color, by what member of the family family you are brother-in-law blue oh okay father-in-law charcoal okay so what are you getting your lover for the holidays lover i can't say what i'm getting my lover (laughs) because my lover edits our podcast and will hear it that's true okay um i can say a few gift ideas that i've given him in the past oh great 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 okay so i love a diy gift we know. As everybody knows. A good DIY I gave gift. him a shadow box of my pubic hair. <laughs> Something that I did for Jared one year, I think, is a really easy gift for any of anybody to do to somebody that they love. Okay. You, know, you have to love them enough to come up with a couple of reasons why you love them. But mm-hmm. I got inspired because I, I did like a DIY search on uh, Pinterest for gifts. And there's like the 52 reasons why I love you in a jar. And people just do it in like Mm -hmm. a Mason jar with like post-it notes. So I took that idea. I bought this like really beautiful orb kind of like a thing that like an orb box from CB2. That's like gorgeous. Where you hold ashes. (laughs) It's almost looks like an urn, but it's dark, but it's glass and see through. Okay. It almost kind of like looks like a planet. Anyways, I bought that. It was really nice. And then I did that idea, but I did them on these little like pieces of tea stained paper with red, uh, 
little yarn. So it looks beautiful. Yeah. It looks like a really nice like decoration in your house and it can stay there all year. Mm-hmm. But it's that same idea and it has like a really nice personalized meaning behind and you it. told him what you love him in and all. And like he opens ways. the yeah. orb to to see the paper. You have to like you have to open each one. I know, but where's the paper? The papers are in the orb. Okay. Are they rolled Can up? I see They're... through the orb? Yeah. It's a it's a glass so see-through orb. So on your bedside table there's just an orb of paper yeah and that doesn't hurt your brain no because it's really it looks very nice oh okay no and it like goes along with my decor i'm very yeah very picky about my decor it's like kind of like a mid you said you decorum i was like yes you are my that's a good gift it's a really good gift but i think that there's an idea of like taking these kind of cheesy ideas and making them beautiful but Mm -hmm. making them pretty and like mature well that's a good sexy thing to be sure it's sexy mature and that's also good for the gift that costs not a lot of money yeah and you can, you can go to home goods and get a 7.99 orb or call go, it a day yeah go to goodwill like there's a lot of like really cool yeah. funky sort of ways that you can do it honestly i know chris knight doesn't listen to our podcast anymore but if he did i would like an orb full of compliments right a compliment orb yeah because i'm feeling insecure a little bit about my life and my everything and so it's like it would be so nice to have someone be like here's all the things i like about you because as you stay together you forget to tell each other the things you like you only just say the things you hate (laughs) becca what are you getting your lover we don't do gifts oh at all not really Uh. (sighs) because it's like the same money yeah right it would be like me buying myself something and it was it wouldn't even be what i wanted I know. Mm, that's the problem that I have with us, me and Chris, too. It's similar. I'm getting him a wallet this year because that's what he asked for. Mm-hmm. And then I got him a pair of, like, there's something happening in the men's fashion world <laughs> where they're making dress pants with elastic waists oh. for them. So they can't no. wear leggings. You know what I mean? Like, men, I mean, they can. <laughs> you do you. But, like, men. You call them megging. <laughs> men, men don't typically wear leggings every day but you know a legging can go from day to night and like whatever it's like <laughs> all time legging mm-hmm. becca's like and you're gonna be stylish in 2020 anyway, um <laughs> i do a legging day to night for sure day to night legging so with men it's like you're in your sweatpants or you're in yeah. a dress pant yeah but now people are making a dress pant with oh. an elastic waist and chris like calls it a travel pant Mm. because he's usually on a that plane somewhere like my dad <laughs> right? I, know. I know so anyway i found him a pair of travel pants that were really nice and i got them for him and i already gave them to him to be honest <laughs> with you i was like because he's traveling a ton this month and i was like i don't want to wait to get you this when we get back from our big trip like yeah enjoy right. your fucking travel pant anyway i agree it's so hard to give people gifts and then chris was like what do you want and I was like, I want nothing. And if I want something, I would just buy, buy it from myself. myself. Yeah. God, we're Gifts so like the magic of the fucking holidays. Okay. Uh, what about niece and nephew? Well, I don't have any. So my nephew is just obsessed with signed memorabilia. Oh no. God, that's amazing. Yes. Well, wait. What if signed memorabilia comes back? I don't think it ever went away for it's like definitely sports back. fanatics. I mean, there's. But autographs are gone. Do you remember at athletes. movie premieres, people used to sit and try to get an autograph. And now it's you only want the selfie. No, but they're no, definitely, they're especially still... for sports. Like if you get a signed baseball by Clayton People Shaw or whoever, sports, people still care. That'll always be something yeah. in okay. sports. Um, excuse me. Um, so my nephew is like, there's some store in Atlanta that sells all this signed memorabilia. My sister said it looks like you're going into someone's like stinky basement. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I love <laughs> it's it. It's like a pawn shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I have to go up there apparently. Um, and then my niece is so easy because six-year-old girls, you just give them anything with like a sparkle, most yeah. of them, mm-hmm. and they're stoked. Mm-hmm. She has a doll that, you know, you could buy the doll anything and it's just right. thrilling for her. Mm. Just loves it. I love that so much. Today's episode is brought to you by stamps.com. So if you've checked out our brand new holiday lady collection, I'm sure you guys have been getting your orders. You're looking so cute. And guess what? We're sending them all out with stamps.com. And whether your sales come from Amazon, Etsy, Shopify, or eBay, stamps.com can streamline your shipping and keeps your customers on the nice list. So for over 20 years, stamps.com has helped over a million businesses save time and money on shipping. Stamps.com gives you exclusive discounts with USPS, UPS, and 
and DHL, and it integrates with all of your sales channels across top marketplaces and automatically imports shipping info for each order. You just print the label, stick it on, and schedule a pickup or drop off, and no need to rush around in holiday traffic. So deliver more smiles this holiday and start shipping and saving with Stamps.com today. There's no risk, and with our promo code LADYGANG, you can get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free shipping credits and a digital shipping skill. No long-term commitments or contracts. You'll be up and running in minutes. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in code LADYGANG. That's stamps.com, promo code LADYGANG, stamps.com, easy e-commerce shipping for less, a lot less. So I was very excited when I heard that Olipop was coming on as a Lady Gang sponsor because a couple years ago I was in Whole Foods and I saw this beautiful can and it was a soda and it was a strawberry vanilla soda and I thought I haven't had soda in years because it's not that great for you, but this is different. Olipop is a new kind of soda. It tastes just like the sodas that you grew up on, but unlike other sodas that are full of sugar, corn syrup, and artificial ingredients like aspartame, gross, Olipop is made with natural ingredients that are actually good for you. That's right, they're good for you. Listen to these flavors. Vintage cola, classic root beer, orange squeeze, cherry vanilla, strawberry vanilla, and their newest flavor, classic grape. Delicious. I'm telling you, it tastes like childhood, but obviously so much better for you. So they've worked out a special deal for our listeners. You're going to receive 20% off plus free shipping. So we recommend trying their variety pack. This is a great way to try all their delicious flavors. So go to drinkollipop.com slash ladygang and use code ladygang at checkout to claim the deal. That's drink, D-R-I-N-K, O-L-I-P-O-P.com slash ladygang. Olipop can also be found at over 6,000 stores across the country, including Kroger, Whole Foods, Sprouts, and Wegmans. This episode of Lady Gang is brought to you by your new year and your health journey. You know I love a health journey, and that's why we love Ritual. Gaps in your diet should not be ignored. Over 97% of women aged 19 to 50 are not getting enough vitamin D. By the way, that's your happiness vitamin. And 95% are not getting your recommended daily intake of omega-3s. What are we doing? We're not taking multivitamin. You're not thinking about yourself. You think about everyone else in your life, and then you're wondering why you're feeling tired and groggy and bitchy all the time. That's why you need Ritual's Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin. They are amazing. It increases the vitamin D levels. It was shown to increase the vitamin D levels by 43% and the omega-3 levels by 41% in 12 weeks. And right now, Ritual is offering all the Lady Gang listeners 10% off your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash Lady Gang and turn healthy habits into a ritual. That's 10% off at ritual.com slash Lady Gang. What are you waiting for? Go sign up. This is a great deal. Get your vitamins in check for 2022. Ritual.com slash Lady Gang. Okay, ladies. Can't remember the last time that you wanted sex? Oh, I'm sorry, you've got kids in the car? I know, we're gonna call it ice cream. Listen, ice cream, you scream, but maybe not for sex. I mean ice cream, sorry. So if your desire for ice cream feels, well, a little rocky road, you're not alone. Millions of women have felt their libido melting away because of a medical condition known as hypoactive sexual desire disorder, or HSDD. But unlike brain freeze, HSDD can be treated. Maybe it's time to change the flavor of the day from not in the mood to libido renewed. So whether you're into plain vanilla or the queen of whipped cream down to cone, or deciding between between Big or Little Spoon, it's time to scream for ice cream again. Visit ScreamForIceCreamAgain.com to learn more. That's ScreamForIceCreamAgain.com. Do amazing with Total Wireless, because when you move to Total Wireless, you can get an unlimited plan with incredible devices. Now with 5G available in 2,700 plus cities, capable device and SIM required. Get our best deal ever with an unlimited talk, text, and data plan for $25 per month per line for four lines with 100 gigs of shared high-speed data, then 2G, which can save you up to $80 each month when compared to comparable four-line postpaid plans from the leading carrier. All of this on the network more Americans depend on. Actual availability coverage and speed may vary. Visit TotalWireless.com slash coverage slash check for more detailed coverage info. Plus, when you move to Total Wireless, you can get the latest devices like the newest smartphones and even hotspots to keep you connected to what matters the most, all with no contract. Discover us at TotalWireless.com today. Total Wireless, do amazing. A month equals 30 days. A 30-day cycle for shared family data plans begins on the day of the first line or device is activated. Any lines or devices activated later in the first 30-day cycle will receive only the number of days remaining in that cycle. Savings claim excludes taxes, fees, auto pay discounts, and limited time pricing. Source competitor websites, April 2021. The Lady Gang. I had a little bit of a run-in with my in-law family 
about Christmas, and I think I've actually ruined how they did it for like 20 years before I came into the picture. So tell me if you think this is weird. And Knights, I love you so much. Okay, so every year around the holiday time, the whole family would send each other their wish lists. Oh, my God. No. Like, <laughs> mom wants, sister wants, no. Chris wants, Tyler wants. And then you would each get told who your person, like, okay, Kelty oh, and yeah, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Kelty and Chris, this you year you're by. You have Uncle Mike. You have Uncle Mike. And here's his and wish list. Uncle Mike wants this. So essentially, you're buying them a gift that they asked for. And then on Christmas morning, we would all be together. I mean, honestly, for the first 10 years of our relationship, we were always away at Christmas. So I never really noticed that this was weird. But, like, you're opening it. And, like, of course you know you got Scrabble, Sam. You asked for you Scrabble. You asked for Scrabble. Yeah, so weird. So then I came into the thing. And then I was like, I'm going rogue. I'm not doing the wish list this year, which everyone hates. Because when you make the bridal registry, you just want the plates that you want. You yeah. don't want someone to get you a diorama of right. Steven Spielberg movies. Do like, you wait? Sorry. Do you have one? You have one gift. Yeah. You have like your people. You're so like, like the person. Chris list. and Kelty do Jack and Jerry and they want one thing. Yeah. Or is there like a list no, no, no. of multiple things? It's just a thing. That's... What do you want for Christmas? I want this particular sweater. Here's the link. That is okay. It's so strange, right? Yeah. So anyway, during the years over time, they've stopped doing it. And I think it's my fault. Because I think you... it's because I was like, I need a surprise. Yeah. I want to be excited. And like, I want, I want you to think about me and think, what would I like to give her? And if you don't know, then I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. It's a bath bomb. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't know what to t- Wait, anyway. so where, what was your rogue gift that you got? <laughs> well, I've rogued for years. Oh. I've just always, last, uh, one year I got, um, t-shirts that ask my wife <laughs> for everyone in the family wow. <laughs> all the men wow. no but i give great gifts but like you know it's it's like weird it's an adult thing it's like my sister and brother-in-law they're like redoing their house they have two kids they're like what we really want is some new floors yeah so i wrapped up a check and some f-ing screws in a box and was like enjoy your floors you know what i mean like, yeah i don't know yeah. it's just weird okay i had a realization on my flight actually that I have a real problem because I don't want to do the whole Santa rigmarole with when you have a Uh-oh. kid, but you can't deprive your kid of that because they're going to be in school with other kids that got gifts from Santa. Yeah. And so you either have kid. to raise your kid, like we'll have to raise our kid Jewish. Yeah. But they're still going to get Hanukkah gifts. Yeah. But it doesn't come from a fucking made up person. Mm. Comes well, from your I parents. hope you're not listening to this with your kids in the car. If you're in the car with your kid, just turn this off. But I'm really torn. I think all that stuff is fucking stupid. <laughs> and I think that I would have been just as excited as a kid for Christmas if I was walking downstairs knowing that my parents had bought me all that shit with their hard-earned money. <laughs> Isn't it f***ed up that the parents don't get any credit for buying their kids a ton of stuff? Well... I think where Santa is, it's where it's really difficult. And I've learned this by hosting the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Kids that don't have as much yes. money. They think Santa doesn't love them yeah. as much. Yeah, so I think it's weird. Like, the rich kids are getting a BMW for Christmas from Santa. Well, by the time oh, they're, they're getting 16. a BMW. <laughs> they're getting the, right, yeah, they're getting the American Let's Girl. They don't believe in They're Santa. getting a surfboard, a American Girl doll, whatever. Yeah. And then the kid who has a family that is struggling doesn't get anything. Yeah, like, that yeah. is really heartbreaking. Um, life's hard, though. You can't baby wrap it. Um, but can I just not do it? No, you have to, and it's going to be magical. Your kid will think. Oh that my god, something Becca, wrong with think it. of how fun it is when at night you're like, little Susie, we better put out the cookies, and then some carrots for the reindeer. Yeah, I think it's a really and then cute in the morning, the Zach so has small. eaten half of the cookie. She's not she's sold. still like her. But listen, you do whatever you want, but when like I if was your like kids like three or four years old, I asked my mom point blank I go would you ever lie to me and she says no of course not why would I why would you ever ask me that and I said okay well then is Santa real did she lie no she was like you just fucking cornered me and I she <laughs> was like, like she's like Santa is an idea <laughs> or like some bullshit oh Santa lives in your heart wait yeah. I it's like Jesus you guys I have to tell you something I believed in Santa until I was in sixth grade <laughs> <laughs> that I know it doesn't surprise me Isn't I was like, like 12? 12 I had my period almost I had my period oh my god 
I know. I have a letter that wow. I wrote to Santa in like fifth grade. And I was like, I'm on the fence if you're real or not. Because I have to tell you, when you grow up in Canada, everything is so magical in the wintertime. Yeah. Like at night, there's snow everywhere. The sky is so dark. And there's like little glitteries on the tree and the everyone has Christmas lights. It's like you're living in the North Pole. So it makes sense. You're so close to the North Pole. You can see it all happening. Mm. You didn't think at 12, how does this man get to every house in the whole world <laughs> one day? No. <laughs> or like, I don't know. From because I believed like... in magic because I've always had animals talking to me. <laughs> I've always had like all these weird things like my... King Snow White. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like I've always what, what the what? <laughs> animals Anim- talk to you. My God. stuffed animals have always like I've Still? always not. I mean, sometimes when I'm in Home Goods, I want to rescue the the things. I bought this, you know, the sloth thing on whose gift guide was it? The sloth. Oh, it was mine. The sloth. Um, there's like a, a microwavable sloth that you can cuddle. You know, it's like a cuddle bug and you can put it with your kids when they're going to bed to make them feel comfortable. But I think it's really cute even for period cramps. And I bought like there's five of them on the staircase right there. The little sloth thing. Like when I sp- unpack those, I feel like they have a little personality. Don't you feel like they have a little personality? Sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know? No. Never. You've never looked at a doll or stuffed animal and felt like there's a sentient being in there? No. Oh, I have. So I have... My stuffed animal, Smiley, he was like the bear that my mom used as like the focal thing when she was giving birth. Yeah. So it's like the... Smiley has a soul. Smiley has a soul. I keep, I have him he and he's like... some fucking crazy shit go down. <laughs> crazy shit. But he's sitting in my like wicker chair, my rattan chair in my room. And that's also the chair that I used to put all of my clean laundry on. But when I put my clean laundry on, I have to move him out of there because I don't want him to suffocate under the clean laundry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ig- exactly. And you do this now. Yes. Exactly. Like I did it yesterday. Exactly. I had to move him. Becca's jaws on the floor. I feel the exact same way. I feel so guilty when I put Callie's toys in the washing machine because I'm like, I'm fucking drowning this donkey from BarkBox. Oh like, <laughs> no, mine's only Smiley because uh, he does have a, a soul to okay. him. Not Callie's toys. <laughs> it's everything that has a face to me. Not art, but like thing like animals, stuffies, dolls. And, this like, took a turn because when you said you talked to animals, we thought you meant real animals <laughs> that are alive. No, but I believe that. Like when you go to the zoo, you don't feel like the whale is like. That's so different. Yeah. It's a living, breathing <laughs> creature. Okay. Well. But Smiley is <laughs> not. No, 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 no. Smiley is different than Callie's toys. That's offensive. I'm sorry, Jack, but I can't pardon you on this. <laughs> this is so fucking weird. It's so weird. There are I don't think it's this, weird though. at all. Smiley does have energy. I need the lady gang to weigh in because I am feeling like we are dealing with some severe mental illness right now. I 100% like my, I had a Cabbage Patch doll as a kid, Roxanne, mm-hmm. that which is, is why I'm named. <laughs> they come pre-named. <laughs> they come pre-named. Okay. And Roxanne like was with me all the time. And like, you know, when we'd go on family trips, Roxanne would come in the back seat of the car, like whatever, you know, and my mom still has Roxanne. And Roxanne is in like the hope chest in the basement with all like my childhood mementos and her stuff. That's so and sad. when I opened them, I was like, how dare you f-ing put Roxanne in this yeah. human coffin? <laughs> Roxanne is alive. She needs to be out. So, so I, she? I put her on top, sitting nicely on a soft blanket. In the coffin? No, no. On the top, like on in, top of the chest. In, in my the basement. basement. In the basement still. So the basement's locked very, in the basement. No, there's no lock. And it's very calm and lovely down there. Brand new carpet. I don't think so. See that? That's it's not great. Well, what should she bring her Roxanne back to Los Angeles and have her in her bedroom? That's what I did. I mean, it's true. You you know, if you weren't already engaged or (laughs) betrothed, I would worry about your dating life if you had a stuffed animal in your adult bedroom. I brought him back to my apartment after Jared and I started dating. That's what I thought. Because you, he also goes with my decor though. He was was weird. Weird. So who was taking care of Smiley when you weren't around? He was at my parents' house. Out, though. Out, yeah. yeah. Not being he suffocated like, by laundry. No, he Wait, was like sitting you on a brought show. him to your parents? No, I have him now. No, he was at my parents' before I brought him to my apartment. Oh, my God. I thought you were like, like your parents were dog sitting. <laughs> I really got so fun. <laughs> took a thrill. Oh, my God. Could you imagine no, if you learned I would, about me now? I would die. I would die. I would die. <laughs> like... 
die. I would love when it. When I go out of town, I bring Smiley Wait, down. Wait, when we go on the Lady Gang tour and we're on the bus, if Smiley's not in your bunk, I'm not going. I'll bring Roxanne and you bring yeah. Smiley and we're making you have and one. And Becca quits the Lady Gang. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bring a human baby or a fucking live dog and that's where I draw the line. Okay. Well, uh, anyway, this was supposed to be the gift giving guide, but it wasn't. It turned into what's wrong with Jack and Kelty, but that's okay. That's what Lady Gang's all about. There you go. Um, nobody wants anything. Boys want sex. People want money and a Starbucks gift card. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. We weren't here for a long time, but we're here for a bastardly black soul coal time. Wow. Bye. Thanks for listening. The Lady Gang is produced by Alex Ingber, Steve Delameter, and Jared Monaco. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and review our podcast. And if you love it, share it with your friends on social media. Like, oh my God, I just listened to Lady Gang. This episode's so great. It's my bub to listen. And if you really want to, which we know you do, please follow us on social. At Kelty, at Becca, at Jack Vanek, and at The Lady Gang. Sign up for our newsletter at theladygang.com and join our secret Facebook group. It's super fun. See you next Tuesday.